not in favor. Okay. I want to call this meeting to order. Thank you. Any public input? Ladies? <laughs> no? Just looking? Okay. Um, try to move right along here. Do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of January 3rd? School board meeting. So moved. We hear a second. Second. Any errors, corrections, or omissions? I, I did have one correction. Okay. Um, and I don't, I'm not able to pull them up in front of me, so I'm going to go from my notes. Oh. Uh, Roman numeral eight, superintendent's report, first bullet, third line, not third sentence, but third line, Patty, if that's helpful. It's missing a word, so it should say to see her go. Can I read it right here? Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's better than my... Um, as we always have been impressed. <coughs> You're right. Okay. Anything else, Leslie? No, that's all I had. Okay. <coughs> Everybody in favor with the amended correction? Say aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And a um, motion to accept the January 10th school budget hearing. So moved. We have a second. Second. Any errors, corrections, or omissions that anybody knows of? I wanted to make a, a, an addition, if you all would consider it. Um, I'm looking at <clears throat> the third paragraph. Um, and I, I would suggest that we include a final sentence on that paragraph. The, this paragraph starts with Dr. Nihilus then reviewed the budget process to date. Mm -hmm. um, but I would like to suggest including a final sentence that says the tax rate will be set in October 2017 by the DRA and will depend on state adequacy aid, Littleton's assessed valuation, the unassigned fund balance, and other variables. If that's what he said, because she was quoting him, wasn't she? <coughs> well, if that, that was on the presentation documents that yeah, it was on the slide. Yeah. On the slide. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're paraphrasing. Verbatim. Yeah. Yeah. So I just. So. Okay. So um, that would certainly reflect what I said. Okay. I, I just think it's good to. It's yeah. not a for sure. Um, right. This is our estimate, but that that rate isn't <coughs> set until the the following. Yeah. Fall. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then on the fourth paragraph. I think we should <coughs> spell out what NESDEC means versus just doing an acronym for it. It stands for the New England School Development Council. Um, okay. And then, you know, on the, I guess, I, I had a question. I, did you guys read the sixth? Um, paragraph under proposed warrant articles under Article 5, renovation of the Littleton High School gymnasium ceiling. It says currently interior work to repair the current leaks, but but that warrant article is interior work to sort of rehabilitate the ceiling. Yeah, to right, and, not, not the and, and so I think we should correct the minutes to okay. reflect that. Yep. Um, so I would suggest that we change that to um, take off interior work to repair current leaks, take that off and change it to interior work um, to renovate and rehabilitate the interior of the Littleton High School gym ceiling. Yeah, that makes more sense. <coughs> Anything else? Um, you know, I had a couple comma things. Can I give this to Patty with the sure. comma corrections? Yep. Okay. That's it. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Do <laughs> her, her comma <laughs> my quote. Sorry. Do I hear a motion no, I did to the accept the <laughs> corrected <laughs> minutes, please? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, I guess we'll get to the senior class trip. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Griffin. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, our names are Madison, Rebecca, and Griffin. We are part of the senior class of 2017. We are here to ask for approval for our senior class trip to Boston and Six Flags, New England. We would like to leave Littleton at 7 a.m. on Thursday, May 18th to explore Boston by going on a duck boat tour, walking around Faneuil Hall, seeing the Blue Man Group show, going to dinner, and playing music. Um, we are expected to get back to the hotel around 9.45 p.m. Um, on May 19th, we are heading um, from the hotel around 8 a.m. to Six Flags, New England, and Agawam? Agawam. Agawam. Agawam, uh, Massachusetts, uh, where we will spend the day until 7 p.m. and when we head back to Littleton and arrive around uh, 11 p.m. All of our prices are based on having 32 students. Accommodations are going to be made in case a student cannot afford to pay for class trip. We have had someone already set forward to sponsor a student, and the class will absorb any other costs needed. The total cost of the trip should be around $11,840 per 32 students, or $370 per student for total cost. Each student will not need to contribute more than $250 out of pocket. We are still fundraising the amount per student based on our fundraising that we are coming up with but hope to cover a large amount of the trip with class funds. We plan on having a parent meeting before February vacation pending approval. Do you have any mm -hmm. questions for us? Any questions for us? <laughs> <laughs> is there a maximum amount of scholarship that's going to be available? I mean, is there a limit? How many kids might have a problem? Um, we would have to first look at who's who wants to participate in the program yep. um, and then look to see what we have in our funds, but we're going to do the best that we can to make sure we want to make sure that everybody who wants to go. Home. Yes, because it's one of those that's a, a right, not a privilege. Yep. Okay. Any further questions? Looks like fun. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for staying within the area, sort of. <laughs> well, I think there's a lot to do in Boston. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. So is, is the board ready to make Yeah, I'd like to make a motion that we um, accept the senior class's trip as presented and approve it. Second. Any further questions? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Have a good rest of your senior year. <laughs> Uh, the manifesto going it down and treasurer's report. Do we have any comments about that, folks? I just went offline. Uh, on the treasurer's report? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I wanted to, um, what, what, what's the big tuition? <coughs> Where's Tom? Tom? Primarily, we see from last year's. Okay. Basis. And then this is, this is a cash basis rather than a cool basis. Yeah. We had uh, uh, a good portion of that is state vocation tuition use. State vocation, okay. From last fiscal year. Yeah. Uh, yes, there's quite a lag there. Yeah. And then I see you've got the the capital reserve funds that we voted on at the end of last June. Yes. Okay, so those are that's the money we transferred from the facilities and the equipment. Yes. Okay. Those are the uh, playground improvements, yep. the unit ventilators, multi-purpose remove, and uh, high school bathroom renovations. Yep. And we did invoice the trustees for the, uh, the lesser of the actual or the approved amounts. We went both ways. So it was always the lesser of, and uh, they provided the funds. And yeah. Okay. And Tom, I just wondered if we'd had any word on the audit when we would get. I know we had a question last year, but the limited session, and so just where we stand. I know we've been invoiced from them, right? Uh, partial. Partial. Okay. Um, 
I do have a point or two under the single audit, which is surrounding federal funds. I think we need to respond to, to those points. And I'm still trying to find some time to get the um, post employment non pension actuarial analysis mm -hmm. done. We have set up side funds for that. It's just been a matter of time and gathering information and getting it to the actuary. Okay, so we won't get that until it's I, we've got I a little more. Like to have that, if, if that can be accomplished in a fairly short amount of time, mm -hmm. I'd like to have that included in the audit. Yeah. Um, if it's going to be a bigger holdup, then we'll have to take the hit again this year. Okay. Compared to next year's. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. So, that audit. That's basically a housekeeping issue. It comes very at the beginning of the warrant. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, and yeah. usually we we don't have it by no, the time I, of the school meeting, and so I understand and that. And people stand up and question it a lot of times, and we don't have it. So I'm doing my due diligence, yeah, I know, I know. confirming. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, all, so that I'm ready for the delivery. You know, <laughs> yeah, well, come up again by the same group of people that usually question that. And well, okay. there's not much we can do about it if we don't have it. No. The only one we have in paper form with us is our 2015. Yeah, we're always a year behind. I know, yeah. it's always a year behind. So, yeah. you know, I know years ago that we used to put part of that audit in the annual report, but <coughs> Mr. Mangles tells me he can do a PDF and put it on the website, <coughs> even if it's 2015. If, if the board desires, we have a couple of years that we can put on the website. Yeah. Which would be available. That would be helpful, I think. Yeah. yeah hopefully it won't come up. But right. But at least if it's there, it'll be helpful. If someone wants to look at it, that's available. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it a little easier for them. So I think, Tom, whenever you can do that, pull on the website. Okay. Anything else on Denise's business reports? If not, um, unfinished business. Um, 2017-18 budget warrant articles. We want to go over that now. One of the reports that you have for you is the official draft form. Department of Revenue Administration site. Um, we are having some troubles with their forms. Some of the forms that you may see are not going to necessarily reflect the manual forms that we prepare. Uh, some of them are not going to show the correct answers, but we are required to use their forms, and if I have a reconciliation sheet, we'll, we'll attach it to it, and we actually get around to posting. Uh, with the, the warrant article form, the only issue I have with their form is we haven't found a way to populate the first section yet, which warrants of the meetings and all things of that then who we are and where we are. So that's so that needs to be filled in. Um, the articles here are as presented at the budget hearing. including the items by petition. At some point, you need to determine the board's position on each of the articles. Uh, those items, including appropriation, should have a recommendation or a non-recommendation. And the jury is still out as to whether or not you need to state your position on the petitioned articles. Mm -hmm. I've asked both council and DRA as to whether you can or whether you should, since none of them include an appropriation. If you choose I to believe take a position, if I looked, that, looked into some information on Senate Bill 58, I believe it is, that you probably should on, do on the um, articles that have money in them, do a recommendation. But for articles that don't, I don't think you have to. 
But I think if we do it on some and don't do it on all, it looks like we're recommending on well, some and not all. If you, you want to look at the whole thing, I have it with me. No, I don't want to look at the okay. whole thing. I just want to say that if you do recommend it by the school board on six, say, and you don't recommend some of the others, I just thought we should be consistent. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Would it be applicable to put no recommendation given because it's not an appropriation? I think I'd rather hear your recommendation and then find out whether I need to include it. If we are recommending it but we want to amend it and we can't do that till it's on the floor. You, you can't amend the petition warrant article, no. It can be amended from the, from the floor. floor. So if we put recommended by a school board or not recommended by the school board without being able to comment on it, I don't know if that would even, I mean if we put recommended and then we wanted to amend it, we put not recommended and we didn't amend it. Well, I think I'm prepared to stand up for one of those articles to discuss what's been happening and we'll fall into the future. Okay. So, At the town meeting last night, they passed over some articles. Oh, um, really? the, 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 and so like, they were with appropriations, but mm -hmm. the selectmen passed over them. Join, well, you were there too, mm -hmm. right? And so help me out if but my... This was a zero, zero. Yeah, it said zero zero, but it said it still was going to read not recommended by the select board zero zero. Is that what you read? Right. Or Jerry, were you there? Okay. That's what confusing. Do is yeah, it is. They don't recommend any of them. They don't. The selectmen on the all those petition warrant articles that come in, which are signed by twenty five registered voters, they don't recommend any of them. They put not recommended by the Board of Selectmen. And if you look at it on all of them, there might be 30 of them. Okay, and they just put not, because a lot of them are asking for money. Right. Most of them ask for money, like, you know, senior services, uh, Tri County Cap, etc. Okay, uh, right, White Mountain Mental Health right here. They all ask for money, but the Selectmen don't recommend any of them. And they let the voters decide. I don't think <clears throat> that you can change the wording of the mm -hmm. I think once they come in, mm -hmm. they have to have the wording exactly the way it is on that petition to warn article. I mm -hmm. could be wrong on that, but I don't think. Right. I, don't think it yeah. I think the confusing part is that if you say no recommendation or not recommended, it's confusing. I think if we, if we put no recommendation given, it, mm -hmm. it means different than no rec not recommended. Yeah. Because when I read not recommended, it means know, that we talked about it and don't like it. So if we could put no recommendation given rather than not recommended, I don't know if that wording is by set by statute or not. Yeah, because in, like in Bethlehem, because I deal with this with the senior center, in Bethlehem, they don't say anything. They just put them on the warrant, right. just the way they're written. The, the, the petitioned articles, yeah. The yeah, petitioned articles. Mm -hmm. They don't take it straight either way. Well, no. Yeah. You wouldn't, because they're petitioned. We, we make up our warrant articles and we approve them. Well, why would we recommend petition the ones that we didn't write up? And in these cases, they don't include an appropriation. Right. So I don't think you're required to. No. So we can put it on there without any comment. But that's, right. that's what I've asked. That's what I yeah, would think. Yeah, actually, that's not my understanding is correct. Yeah. I think so this is the first time we've had petitioned articles. Right. Since I've been it is. <laughs> First time ever. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Did they have 25 registered voters on them? And did you check them? Okay. Mm -hmm. The clerk has reviewed the list. Yes. Oh, right. Are we allowed to get a copy of that? Hmm. Uh, the, the petition? petition I think they're, they're in the office. I mean, you can. No, what the petition articles are. The people who signed it. Oh. I don't. Not who signed it, but the oh. petition articles. Oh, different yeah. from what was presented at the hearing, you mean? Yes. That the actual, okay, because the wording was on the hearing documents. That's what the article was. Yeah. So. Right. There they are. Nothing's changed then from that. So we can't change. We can't change. We can't change it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But they can be changed as a delivery. Correct. Right. Yes, it may. Correct. Yep, from the floor. From the floor. Yeah. From the floor. Right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, Tom, did you 
did you get your <coughs> answer? Did you have a qu you asked the question, right? <laughs> So, you, you, you do at least need to vote on those items that have appropriation and decide whether you're going to recommend them. Okay. And that has to be done before we sign off on the final copies and, and post it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if not tonight, we'll, we'll have to have a special meeting before the end of the morning. Okay. <clears throat> So I, I see on Article 4 that it's missing a, a letter at the end of the title of the oh, article. Oh, right, an option. Oh, yeah. Is that option to buy? Yes. Again, that's, that's a, a constraint of the state system. <laughs> oh, okay. So you ran out of room. <laughs> this, is, this is printed off the state system. Okay, all right. Okay, um, I got gotcha. you. When we hit final, I don't know what's going to show up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, when I hit final, uh, we have to go through many hoops to get it opened up again. If we don't like, it. for example, if it doesn't fill in the blanks. Yeah. <laughs> so these, these are the draft copies. Okay. Okay. I noticed that Article 2 already says recommended by the school board. Is that on the website too? Um, I believe that was. Hmm. Okay. Each, each of these articles has been reviewed by Gordon Graham. Okay. And everything that was put onto the DRA site was, was reviewed and signed off on with no deficiencies noted on each article by our municipal advisor. So I had a question about one of the petition articles, number eight, to discontinue the fund balance retention authority to see if the school district will vote to revoke the authority and discontinue the retention of years and unassigned funds, which was granted on March 3rd, 2013, and said existing funds, and they give the dollar amount, plus accrued, which is 249600 plus accrued interest shall be used to reduce the tax rate. Is that is that accruing interest? No, it's not. Okay, it's it's a line on the balance sheet, yeah. the equity section. Uh, it's not like a capital reserve fund, which is actually cash on deposit with the trustees, mm -hmm. which does earn interest or, or other investment earnings. Okay, so That's these are not interest bearing questions. Yeah. Okay. And so if that article were to pass, the funds would then go, that, that, that they would, I guess, be used to reduce the tax in the coming fall. Whatever Great. the undesignated unassigned fund balance is at the end of June this year would be returned. The but amounts retained from last year will just be part of the fund balance returned next year. Right. So it may not be that exact number. Mm -hmm. no. So the question is, with a, with a warrant like this, if it has two faulty pieces of information and it passes, are we <coughs> bound to the numbers that are there? No, because what, if, if it passes, you just won't be retaining any fund balance, regardless of what the actual numbers are. Even if they mention a specific number? Yes. Okay. The operative there is rescinding the authority to retain. Right. Okay. But to retain just this this 2.5 percent, right? That we had. Yes, that's yeah. the authority yes. that okay. was voted right. a couple of years ago. Right. No, which I, I get that. I just want to confirm that though, that yeah. that we're talking about a certain amount. So if that's if that's rescinded, then you will retain none of the unassigned, undesignated fund balance. Cool. 
Or you would not retain the two and a half percent net assessment. So you would return, retain nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Except for what is voted by warrant in the mm -hmm. except those that are, well those items that are already encumbered right are considered assigned yeah right. yeah yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. no I get it I, um, it's good okay. okay So what is the board's pleasure? Do you want to work on this tonight or do you want to have a meeting early next week? Or? Well, I, I have a couple of facilities questions that I would like to ask prior to acting on number five at least. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I wondered um, if we had any more information about the roof repair on the exterior or replacement um, to the Littleton High School gym. We keep asking, we don't hear. This is very frustrating. Okay. Yeah, I, put out, I put out numerous inquiries and, let, and I haven't had a chance to talk to Al. Two, two companies have looked at the roof, but we have yet to receive the estimates. Okay. But we have, we have been pushing that and trying to get fresh numbers, because we know those are a little bit old. They'll have to be bid out formally anyway at some point. But. Right. And those two companies have worked for us before, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And did they give you a time frame on the estimate by any chance? Well, the time frame they gave us originally to show up yes. was incorrect. <laughs> okay. About a week late, so <laughs> we asked them we needed this as soon as possible. Yeah, so. thank you. Yeah. Okay. But we are working on it. And how about the urgency? How about the interior? Do we get a second look at that, or what happened with that? We get to wait till we see what we find on the. We've asked for the. Uh, the company that did give us the projections. We've asked them to break that down. Okay. And then other companies we've asked to please take a look at them. Haven't shown up. Okay. Not interested, I guess. People are hungry. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we may have to seek out some other other. Uh, I do have a person. separate quote. <clears throat> it's a year old now, but just on the lighting, I do have a separate quote on that, <laughs> and that could be updated at any time if I request it. I'm sure. Um, so, was is there another warrant article that's kind of missing? <coughs> in this oh, one? I need it for money. That was on the uh, budget um, slideshow. Facilities, replacement equipment. Well, the one you just spoke of, I don't see them there. Oh, for the interior? Yeah. The 60000 Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was in the presentation. Yeah, it was right, it was right after the $100,000. It was right after <laughs> number four. I could have been here. And it was, yeah, it was actually between four and five. You are correct. So <coughs> it sounds like I would really be ready That's to vote on that when I look at it. Yeah, it was right. It was right after the. Uh, L, um, <coughs> These aren't numbered in here, but no, they're not. They're numbered here, from here. Yeah. Yeah. So that would actually be Article Five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the budget. Yeah. 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 I think that's the only one. Okay. Yeah. 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 Three. Yeah, so there should be a total of ten articles to add that one back in. <coughs> and that item was discussed at the budget hearing, so it's permissible to correct the forms. Okay. If it's one that we hadn't discussed, then we right. 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 I do have another question, Tom, on Article Four. Um, 
the other articles do have a, a phrase recommended by the school board, but Article 4 doesn't. I don't know if that was an oversight or it doesn't need to be there. It, it wasn't an article carried forward from the prior year. What? So there was, so there was no recommendation to insert yet. So we need to vote. Oh, okay. But yes, that is one that would have to have your recommendation or, or non-recommendation. Okay. Because it is an appropriation article. Article 4, you're talking Yes. About. Yeah, because this one is here. It doesn't say the rest in the book. Could I be so bold as to ask that we get a final printout of the articles in order, written, covering everything, before I decide whether or not we should vote on them? When could we do that? Because the, these are all... Can we vote on these tonight? With well, no, I think we'd have, have to have a correct award. Yeah. Right? Because it comes off their website. Yep. So we may have to. So we may have to have another meeting, maybe Monday of next week. Short one. Or short one. Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I'd like I'd like to see it all final and correct, and then I'll. Well, then you can't see the one that says final. Well, no, no, no. my final, but my yes, no. not that correct. corrected. Yes. Right. Corrected. Right. right. And it shouldn't take very long, maybe a I, lunch meeting or something, just to get this. I, I can email that as soon as I get the yeah. back from the municipal advisor tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Cool okay. <coughs> so that means we don't have to have another meeting. So what's the board's pleasure? Get your social calendar set. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I did with mine. <sighs> what is the deadline for finalizing the warrant? And when you we have, have to it. absolutely have it done? We have to have it done by January 30th, 30th and posted. Okay. When could you have it emailed to us, Tom, tomorrow? As soon as I get as soon as comments you get. back from the advisor. I wasn't being wise right there. I really didn't know what you said. <laughs> okay. I have Friday or Monday at lunch would be fine. Yeah. And I can arrange that if people want to come up or I can come here. I can do Friday at lunch, but not Monday. I have some other commitments on Friday, I think. Yeah, I do too. But I could go Is that enough on. notice, um, Patty? As well, or are we cutting it too close? Pretty close. Cool. Yeah. It would be, yeah. be nice to get it out. Yeah. I mean, it would be. I, it would be no, no, I'm I not think talking. It would be I'm best talking. To get it published is it too than soon that? for this Friday? Not next Friday. Okay. No, I have to. If you're talking this Friday, I heard somebody that can't be there on the 20th. How about the 23rd or the 24th? I could do in the afternoon on the 23rd. Just not lunch. Okay. I'm good for all these times, so I'm not saying anything so far. Okay. Late afternoon on the 23rd. It Late should be a pretty quick meeting just well, to no. go over I the would, warrants. I would think so. Or noon time or something. I, I won't be around. So I'm free Monday after 2. 2. Greg, what can we do for you? After 3.30 on Monday for me. About 4. 4 o'clock? How about 4 o'clock Monday? Okay. All right. All right? Yeah. All right? All right? Here. Right here, right? Maybe yeah, we might as well just have it here. Yeah. I'm not here Monday. You're not here Monday? <clears throat> oh. Sorry. No, that's all right. Tuesday? Tuesday. I can do Tuesday I'm earlier. Sure. I just can't do that. We do Tuesday lunch time? No, I won't be around. Oh, Tony. Totally. Is that bad for you? Yeah. Um, Tuesday the 24th? Oh, okay. Tuesday's fine for me anytime after 10. <clears throat> Anytime. I can do any time in the afternoon. Anytime. I can do it. Anytime. Yep. Anytime. Anytime. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, Tuesday it is. What Tuesday. time on Tuesday do you want it? If we have it at lunchtime, I guess it sounds like the hospital. Is that yeah. what I'm hearing? I can work that at Greg's cooking. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He'll cook, but we pay. Tuesday. <laughs> Medium rare, please. At noon. Tuesday noon. I guess. 24th at noon. Whatever works at 12.30 or whatever works at 11.30, whatever works. Well, I, I don't know if maybe we should do it here, given we we're voting on the, the horn. Do you want to do it? I mean, what if the public wants? I mean, what if... 
I think it would be better if we did it here. That's okay. Right. Yeah, that's I okay. kind of take him. This is yeah. a okay, good point. Thing. Good point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it for Kavari. Sorry. So what time here? Four? No. We can do no? it earlier. We can do it can earlier. Do it earlier? I, can come. I thought we could do it earlier. I'll just leave and come back. I'll okay. Leave and go back. What time, folks? Lunch time is good. Okay. We'll go for burgers. All right. Lunch so, time. So on the noon 24th. on the 24th. Noon on the 24th. Yeah. At the SAU. Okay. SAU. Okay. And you'll email them to us so I can take a look. Thank you. Okay. All right. Anything else on this? Moving right along. <clears throat> you want to discuss um, NSAC accreditation? I do. Okay. Um, we've, had, we've had several presentations, at least one presentation uh, from our teachers at high school. Joanne's spoken of it a few times as well. Part of what we talked about a little bit is that uh, it does involve a, a cost. It's a, and I, I, can, I can certainly share that uh, you know, with you, as I've, as I've said before, that uh, when I go to superintendents' meetings, the budget is the big is the big talk with them right now, and certainly everything is, is being looked at very carefully. Um, and we've had some conversations about NEASC and what the what our future relationship is with that. And I think I think we value it highly. Clearly, it's a it's a uh, accreditation process that uh, again helps us move forward, helps us with school improvement. Um, Gives us gives us that uh, that outside accrediting uh, stamp of approval, if you will. Uh, but what what I am asking the board uh, to authorize me to do, I have spoken with NEASC about this, uh, as well as those uh, who are working most directly with NEASC at the high school, is to uh, is to ask for a one year extension so that the visit, which would have occurred in the fall of 2018, will instead occur in the fall of 2019. That allows us to budget, spread the budget out over a few more years uh, for that. Also gives us some time to, to look, at, look at this process along with other things that we're going to be doing in terms of school improvement, <coughs> um, fitting into the uh, New Hampshire school improvement initiatives as well. And I think we just, we just need a little more time to make sure that what we do with NEASC and what we're doing in other areas all fits together and it has some unity to it. So that's what I'm asking from you tonight and certainly entertaining any questions you have uh, about my request. But my request is again that uh, you authorize me to request a year extension. And if they say no? Uh, if they say no, we'll have to reevaluate um, where we go from there. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, well, I just I've got an indication that I think they'll work with us, but uh, you know, you never know. It, I mean, it does have. I do have to write a letter to them and go to their board, and they will they will consider it uh, based on based on the uh, on the uh, rationale arguments I just made. I think it's worth a try at this point to push for that. Okay. okay. What do you anticipate being the impact on the proposed budget with that? Um, extension. Well, exactly. I think you know, I think several things. There, there's 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 a bit of a transition there as well in terms of how the teams will look like, and then in the near future they may not be quite as big. Uh, in terms of the scope of the visit, may not be quite as big as it is currently as well. I think that gives us the potential at least to take advantage of some of those those savings. Uh, you know, NEASC is like any other organization. They're they're in transition and. Uh, you know, I think they're very committed to school improvement and s serving the schools that they work with. But uh, I think that I think there would be potentially be some budget savings there. Not potentially, there would be some budget savings. Thirty thousand. Yeah, it's what we've got. Yeah, there's thirty thousand. Yeah, thirty thousand. Yeah. Which wouldn't we clearly wouldn't spend anywhere close to that if we put it off for a year. You know. Less than half of that, for sure, or less than that, probably. Okay. <clears throat> you know, if we 
as we move forward, the visit will happen, and it will happen a year later, and there will still be some expenses. But I think, I think it gives a little more time to work with them on how to manage that. Okay. So do you need a motion or just a consensus? Well, I, I think I would prefer a motion. This is pretty important. Okay. This is a big deal. Any further questions? Or we can do the motion and... Yeah, I'll make a motion that we accept this superintendent's recommendation that we put up in the ask evaluation for a year. Do I hear a second? Second. <laughs> Did I steer you down, Greg? <laughs> Any further questions from the board or comments? I, I, my only, I guess, and I think you mentioned this, but you've spoken to the the team that's involved I so did. far that's done work and I they're did. on board with this? Yeah, they, they have lots of questions. I think that we reassured them that uh, <coughs> we valued what they've done and this isn't a, this isn't a uh, moving away from this at all, but I think in, in the end it'll give us a better a better process. Um, but Al and, and Joanne and I and Jennifer uh, met with them the other day. Have we ever done this before? Do you remember? As for an extension, I oh. remember ever doing that. We've never done an extension, but we've been through the process once before. Well, yeah. Since yeah. since whenever. It's a 10-year process anyway. Uh, oh, okay. So. so I think it's okay. You do? Okay. okay. So. so did you make the motion? Mm -hmm. they motion made in second. Oh, okay. okay. Any further Wait, questions? Al, Al has a comment, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Benefit. Of extending that hasn't been mentioned, um, a lot of our faculty and, and and just reminded me a lot of faculty haven't um, gone through accreditation before, and they certainly haven't been uh, two schools on the visiting committee. Uh, so pulling that leadership group in in terms of um, leaders for standards, is, I think it's critical that folks that lead standard committees. Uh, have experience in the accreditation process by visiting other schools. This will allow us some more time to do that. Okay. Uh, it's only in the spring and the fall that teachers go out. Um, and it's always, it's, it's, it's a challenge to go out. It's, it's a huge commitment. It's, it's four days, uh, Sunday through Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, um, it's a lot of work, but it's, um, it's excellent professional development. So it will okay. give, us some, give us a little more time for, for teachers to go out, our teachers to go out and serve on the visiting teams. Right. So would, the, would this accreditate us 7 to 12 or just the 9 to 12? <coughs> uh, Joanne has applied 7, 7 to 12. through 12. 7 through 12. So this would be two more grades that was accredited, not accredited before. Right. We, we always used to be accredited 7 to 12. Oh, then, okay. we, then we had lost our accreditation okay. facilities. Yeah. Um, right. We applied, and they only allowed us to apply 9 through 12 because Daisy Bronson was still across the street in right. the older building. Okay. So they didn't want anything to do with that. <coughs> so okay. that's so presently we are accredited 9 12, but would be applying 7 12. Okay. All right. Well, it's been motioned and seconded. Do all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. You're welcome. So, shall we continue on with the 2017 18 school calendar? Sure. <clears throat> this is just a draft. It, it hasn't, we haven't had a chance, I mean, we have administrative team to talk about it much yet or anything, but this is what it would look like if we basically followed this year's format. Um, pretty much a pretty much a re replication of that. So <coughs> I guess as much as any, I'd, I'd like feedback because if we have some parents tonight, it'd be good too to hear feedback from anybody on. Well, I think with the staff development yeah. days, there's supposed to be only six of them, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's one for startup and one at the end of the year for the total of 188. Because mm -hmm. you've got seven in here, and I think. This needs to be reworked again or looked at. Yeah. I don't know if a floating day is in there. What's that? See. You what? We still have a floating day, so I don't know if that's part of that calendar. No. 
It's got staff development days, yeah, snow we'll makeup, first day, last day of school, vacation days. Because the contract is all yeah, seven it's taken eight, right off of this year's calendar. Eight, eight days, right? Um, with seven staff development days, and one has to be at the beginning, one has to be at the end. Non non oh. non meeting time oh. for, a, for a contract, and then there's a floating day. Oh, and there's a floating day in this this year as well, so teachers could earn um, a staff development day. Um, on Saturday or some other time approved by administration. Okay. So, so I don't know if that's reflected in the It doesn't calendar. say one floating day, so I think everybody needs to take a look at this and then bring it back to us for approval because yeah. one time we went through it five times. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, you know, and we weren't asking for approval tonight, but just no. this is what it would look like. We yeah. followed yeah, basically the same thing as we did this year. You know, I don't know if there's any, if any, anybody got any feedback about this year's calendar. How was this, was this year the same pretty much as the year before? Yeah. It's been mm -hmm. pretty much the same calendar for a while. I, I have heard from a parent uh, in the okay. past about uh, that the vacations are tough in the, in the second part of the year, having the two, and right. wondering yeah. if we could ever switch to one, um, which would... <coughs> quite a bit of collaboration with the surrounding districts, but if you're at, you know, I, I have yeah. had some, they didn't come to before the board, but they spoke yeah. to me personally about it. Well, and I would have that same comment, you know, that's been discussed, there's a February and an April, instead of having both of those, just have like a March break. <coughs> yeah, that's what my uh, grandson has out in Oregon. I know that <laughs> my children play sports, and we you can't take a February or an April vacation, Correct. because they'll miss their sports. Mm -hmm. So optimally, that that break would come in between seasons, right? Yeah. Yeah. Middle of March or end of March, right? And then you what deduct a week at the end of the year, mm -hmm. yeah. so they're out earlier in June. Mm -hmm. Or start off Labor Day. Yeah. Yeah. Or meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> start off Labor Day. Right. So, if we were ever going to explore something like that. We, Due to the CTC Center and sports intercollegiate, you know, we, we would have to really get out in front of it. Um, I'm sure that sports calendar is in development for next year, probably already, and everything. But I guess if it's something we really wanted to get the pulse of the parents and the staff, we would have to survey them or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other thing that some school districts do is they'll give two weeks at Christmas, and they'll instead of taking it at the end of the year, or adding it, the, or taking it from the beginning of the year, they'll give a two-week break at Christmas. Yeah, which is another option. Yeah. All right. I don't know how I ever got to be that way. Okay. Um, I think I can sort of defer the rest of the. Meeting superintendent's report. Okay. Um, <coughs> a few things I want to hit a few highlights. The co curricular programs, basketball programs are going strong. Um, got to attend, I attended several of those. Unified basketball the other night also. Uh, great program. We had a, had a very, very good crowd there, and the team won in overtime. So uh, the teams are doing well. The uh, secondary drama uh, department put on a show the other day, a uh, dinner dinner theater show on Sunday, uh, which was a, which again was well attended, very enjoyable. Those who uh, who were there, I think, enjoyed the the combination of the food and the kids' talents, and others who were there uh, working, helping out, and attending. So I want to want to recognize those programs. And of course, the winter programs are going, uh, have started uh, at the schools as well. And I think uh, the co-curriculars co are, uh, I, wanna, I always want to mention them from time to time because they're an important part of what we do and uh, give our kids a lot of opportunities to explore 
uh, to participate, uh, to learn from the things that are a big part of co-curricular. Um, we'll talk about budget a little bit, budget challenges. Um, certainly, uh, certainly the, the superintendent's meetings I've been to uh, pretty much since the year started, but particularly the last you know, six weeks, that's mostly what's on everybody's mind. Uh, the phasing out of the stabilization grant, uh, which, which for Littleton means about 60000 a year. I, I, I've, I've talked about this before, but I keep coming back to it. Um, that's something that's caused some districts a, a huge amount of distress. And certainly $60,000 out of our budget is no, no small amount of money either. So I think that, that's something that uh, I know there, there's talk about revisiting that and, and looking at uh, what the you know, future that is, of maybe that stabilization phase out will be at least halted. And there's, there's a lot of talk about the about the overall finance structure uh, at the state, and it puts lots of uh, pressure on on towns, uh, creates um, you know some animosity, uh, creates crises uh, sometimes within communities because uh, again, depending on one's point of view, uh, um, if the state were to were to put more funding into education, <coughs> less would be. Uh, demanded from the, the local taxpayer. Of course, I always point out that those state dollars also have to come from taxes. Uh, so I think we have, to, we have to be fair when we start talking about that. The state dollars don't, don't come here from, you know, from Vermont. They'll, they'll have to come from New Hampshire. So, um, you know, tax dollars. But there, but there is a lot of talk about, about rethinking how... Uh, Schools and perhaps some of the services are, are funded. That, that's part of a bigger conversation. I think that uh, you know, as we as we work through through our process, I think uh, you know we need to, we need to. I mean, I'll speak for myself. Do a better job of communicating with our community. What what particularly a, as we get into a difficult budget year that we're now experiencing, and, and I I hate to say, it, but this won't be the last one probably going forward. Um, you know, do the best job that we can of, of communicating to everybody what, what our budget anticipates, what, uh, what parts of the budget, you know, what programs will be affected, uh, what, our, what our longer term vision is. And uh, at the same time, uh, I think the trick is trying to be sensitive to the employees of the school district and making sure that uh, as we work through our budget issues that we maintain that balance because we, we do we do, do do need to remember when we re, when we reduce programs uh, we're talking about reducing staff and we're affecting people's lives and I think certainly everybody's aware of that but I think going forward uh, I certainly I hope that we're able to better address those questions that, that the taxpayers have and certainly with the delivery session coming up and going forward we'll be able to do that Facilities, uh, we talked a little bit about uh, already about the, the gym here at the high school. Lakeway uh, remain, remains a huge challenge from a facility standpoint. Uh, ongoing uh, heating, heating issues uh, are, are continuing uh, work with, uh, with the structure itself and uh, you know, ensuring that the, the structure going forward is suitable uh, for the usage as it is now. Uh, Jeff Tyree will will be in in, in uh, late February during the break to do some more work there with the with the structure and examining the second floor structure specifically, so that we know is going forward what what's what's going to entail uh, to with that particular building to either either uh, uh, fix it or consider the other options going forward. So. That's the update on, on that. Um, as we, we talked a little bit earlier, brought up, we are we are trying to work with uh, some different contractors. We'll continue to work with different contractors uh, to try to address some of the facilities needs that we have. Uh, I was, I'm happy. I don't, Al. I don't think the gym roof has leaked anymore, right? Since uh, no. the other day, but <coughs> it has a has a habit of doing that inopportune times. Not that there's every good time for your gym roof to be leaking. But we'll continue to work with, uh, with contractors and try to 
you know, keep the facilities in as good a shape as we can. <coughs> That's all I have for my report right now. Okay. I managed not to call <coughs> it all too much, I hope. <laughs> and, you know, I can try to... Yeah. Okay, that's the conclusion of our meeting. We need to have another public session. Do a motion. Make a motion to enter into non-public session under paragraph 2, section 3 of the RSA 91A, colon 3 of the right to no law. For number 2, the hiring of any person as a public employee. And number 3, matters that would adversely affect the reputation of any person other than a member of the board. Taking with us the superintendent. Yeah. Business manager. The business manager, clerk. Clark? Yeah. Okay. Do I hear a second? Second. Roll call vote. Cook. And Robbins. Nelson. Can we get? Thank you, ladies.